power of my Millennium Rod. He shall defeat you. Coward! Why should I waste my time when I can do you through my mind puppets? Battling with the power of my Millennium Rod is no different than using your puzzle to do. That's not true. You force your servants to do your dirty work by taking control of their minds against their will. I duel with respect and honor. Yeah, why not? Then come back in the end. Merrick, make your move. That's exactly how Joey dueled. What's wrong with the campaign? <coughs> I'm enjoying it. And you get free cards per character. Yeah, no, this episode was, uh... Oh, no. It's not too much. Oh, cute. And I apologize if you're not enjoying them or not. But, hey. If you don't enjoy it, there is an X button for the tab. And you are always welcome to jump into another channel. Hmm. Alright, so he summoned Revival Jam. I have 15, right? Done. Frickin' Nightmare Still Cage. Buster Blader! Oh yeah, Buster Blader was a big part of this match, wasn't he? Yeah, Mari's always tired. I kinda wanna use card destruction right now. 18, right? No, 15. Yeah. And this is turn... Alright, so... Summon Celtic Guardian. Because that would be turn one. Yeah. She was drunk yesterday? Oh, wow. That's a surprise. And only one... Oh, this is that deck. Yeah. This is going to be fun. What? Oh, another one. Nice. Oh, this is going to make things a little bit easier. Yeah, of course. I watched the uh, the show. I haven't seen the new show yet. And, uh, yeah, multiplayer is in the game. Thinking right now. I'm cons I'm not sure yet if I want a Buster Blader or not and just card destruction. I mean, I guess it sounds pointless at this point. I don't know. I guess. No. Yeah. Huh. What in the world does he have face... This is going to be one of those games. I just feel it. I think he plays Cyber Jar in this deck, too. There goes the Morphing Jar. There's no point in me uh, doing that yet. Turn 2. I hate that he nightmares steel cages. Oh no, I wasn't gonna use her. She has 2,000 attack and she's too weak and there's no Dark Magicians to throw in Grave. There's no point. Yes, yes. Make sure, yeah. Because it's destroyed by battles when they start coming back. Oh. <clears throat> I mean, I'll be playing this often and often, and when I start doing actual multiplayer, then I'll see about it. As of right now, actually, there's no reason for me to Morphing Jar. I just thought about that. 
If I Morphin Jar right now, I'd be pretty much helping uh, my opponent. I need to get that dark door though. Oh, uh, we'll see. This more than the uh, than race with his friends. Oh my god. Douche. Niwa is douche. Well that's all three nightmare steel cages. Oh, that's the card he used to freeze. Right. One more. I think it's one more. Yeah. Freaking Dark Door, man. Yeah, you may pass out. And there goes the Jam Breeding Machine. But it goes in attack position, so this is going to be easy. I apologize for that, Neil. I was feeling completely terrible. I literally went to sleep for as long as I could, and I struggled the entire uh, the entire 10-hour sh uh, shift until like six hours in. I was able to take a lunch and finally sleep for like 30 minutes straight. And I guess sitting down while doing that, I guess my body just like crashed and said, "Hey, we're okay now." Uh, the main man? No, I don't have, uh, if you're talking about, the uh, Slifer, he should have it right now in his deck, not me. Um. I'm just hoping I can make him discard the Slifer. Because Slifer is so broken in this game. Well, I mean in real life, I guess. You have no idea how much I felt like poop after, um, for not completing it. That's why I wanted to do another race. But I'm glad you made it through, man. That's freaking awesome, because last time I checked, I thought Ventus was in the lead. Something must have happened, man. <laughs> Gonna, oh, man. Alright. I thought this was like the stupidest card in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. Until he went to sleep. Oh, what? Oh, you guys were going all the way. That race smells like a to be continued. No. Uh, why would you bring up something like that in chat? But no, I didn't see it. I win! It's over! It can't be! How could I lose with an Egyptian God card in my deck? Yeah, no, that was pretty easy. You'll pay! You may have defeated Slifer, but I hold another Egyptian God card, a much more powerful one. So savor this victory while you can, for it will be your last! Do I get, uh, Slifer here? <gasps> I got it! And it's the freaking good card art! What? Hold up, we gotta go take a look. That card art is just so sexy. Wow, this system actually looks pretty good. Oh, you can like choose one of this deck and then start editing it? That's really cool, actually. I already got Raw in a pack, so now. Alright, so let's just... Yeah, yeah, anyways. Let's edit it. Oh, this is a, this is an old structure deck. So how do I... Trunk, okay. Sort by... Oh, 
Oh, Spear of Ra? Yeah, no, Spear Ra. Yeah, it, it should be in this game. Look at this card art, man. <coughs> Look at that card art. This game... Thankfully, they chose the best art for all the cards. That Slifer is just freaking beautiful. It's okay, Dragon Nova. Thank you. Thank you for all that support, man. Like, you have no idea how much it, <coughs> it means to me that you guys are here. You know, watching, lurking, chilling. It's a lot of people. We have 55 people in here. That's just insane. No, I don't prefer that version. That version sucks compared to the other one. Sorry. <laughs> this one looks way better. I got a Blaze Ultimate, which I'll never use. Uh, which no one I ever freaking use outside of the story. Oh, we got an Ancient Rules. That's good. Yo, Rod's Disciple is so good. When this card is summoned, you can special summon up to two Rod Disciples from your hand or deck. Cannot be tribute except for the tribute summon of Slifer, Obelisk, or Ra. So freaking good. But he could definitely be exceeded, and he could definitely be. The Shadow Realm is growing fast and far and stretching all over your planet. I will be taking a break at 7 though. I need to get food. I might actually play some Master Chief Collection. I don't know yet. It was now time for the Battle City Tournament Finals. Hey look, Joey, Yugi, and Mai. Check it out! We got all six locator cards! Kaiba, Joey, Yugi, and Mai were the first four duelists to reach the finals. The fifth finalist soon arrived. It was Marek, using the fake name Namu. He befriended Teya and Joey during the tournament. His plan was falling in- Wow, they skipped the whole crazy scene! Of- Wow! They skipped the crazy duel! Yugi, meet our friend Namu! I've heard about you, Yugi. It's an honor to meet you. Any friend of Joey and Taya is a buddy of mine. I'm so happy to be surrounded by such a welcoming crowd. I just hope everyone I meet tonight is as friendly as you people. I don't think it's pro. I mean, it's just chill. It's the game. It's not me. It's the game. Uh, hey, that, uh, that's Bokora. What's he doing here? What are you doing wearing a, a dual disc? How else could I win six located cards and enter the finals? Welcome back, Angry Candy. It's good to see you. Rewind a sec. When did you join the tournament? Join? How'd you make it all the way to the finals? The seven finalists arrived just in time for Bakor to change the topic. Hey look, it's the seven finalists. This guy looks familiar, and that's a mug you don't forget. State your name. I am Merrick. Merrick's henchman, Odeon, assumed Merrick's name to hide Merrick's true identity. It was all part of Merrick's plan. I'll kick your brainwashing keister. You are no match for me, fool. The only reason I'm not tossing you out by the cape right now is so I can save my energy to take you down in the finals. Got that, pal? I think I scared him, you. <laughs> the, the spelling of his... <laughs> oh, man. Now that seven of the eight finalists arrived, Kaiba announced that even though their located cards led them to this location, it wasn't the site of the Battle fin City Finals. At that moment, Kaiba's blimp arrived. Once they were aboard, it was time for the first duel between Yugi and Bakura. You can knew there was something not right with Bakura. I know that that's not uh, Bakura. It's the evil spirit of the Millennium Ring, and I bet he's still after the seven Millennium Idols. The duel's gonna be tougher than everyone thinks. I must win this. The fate of the world depends on it. Are you prepared to lose it all? Why all the fuss? What's around Bakura's neck? Oh wow, they changed the story around a lot. At the uh, at this point, Namu, it's kind of oh no no no, that's fake Mary. Uh, he's he's acting like he doesn't know. No, it's kind of hard to explain, but that's not really Bakura. You see, Yugi and Bakura both have these real old objects that have magic powers. Yugi's item is good, but Bakura's item is bad. Because an e evil spirit lives inside it. So you're telling me there's an evil spirit up there dueling Yugi? That's hard to believe. The team had no idea that Namu, uh, Namu was actually Merrick and that the evil spirit uh, possessing Bakura was working for him. <coughs> now that the introductions are over and done with, why don't we begin this duel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That has to. Jesus, this guy. 
<laughs> I'm looking. I, I need a good burger. Oh, magic formula is pretty good. All right. Now it's my turn. So now, I summon Beta, the Magnet Warrior, in attack position. Oh, nice. I'm trying to do it with the story, man. I think it's only... It, it, I feel like it would only be fun to do it with the story. Because I could make a super deck right now if I wanted to. With all the points and all the cards I have already. Yeah, I know. Woo! Set a card, 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 set a card. Freaking one day apiece, man. I hate that card. <laughs> you say it. As long as he doesn't draw the continuous spell. I, uh, I'll be fine and I win. But I really... Sometimes RNG does this to you. Okay, I'm fine. I got it. I got it. I, d I pulled this victory out my butt, though. You know? Dark Magician! Dark Magic Attack! No, they don't look... What do you mean? They, uh... Those are the real physical card pictures. The ones that we use in, um, in uh, NA. All of them are 100% accurate. Ah, uh, Bakura, you okay? Hey, where am I? You're with your friends now, Bakura. 61 viewer hype! Jesus, the numbers are just jumping and jumping. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, that's the way it looked in the anime, if you remember. There was never any text on the cards, and there was just uh, the stats and stuff like that. Oh, uh, I'm glad uh, Bakura's okay. The Millennium Ring is like a lot like my puzzle. It holds an ancient spirit that depends on someone else so it can exist. And even though the spirit of the ring is evil and controls Bakura against his will, it seems to, uh... What? Those, uh, spread... Uh, I can't see that. Broadcasting uh, 57 viewers blocking it in order to survive. Oh, in the anime? Yeah. But there is one major difference between Bakura and I. What's that? The spirit inside my item is my friend, and you and I are always there to support each other, no matter what comes our way. You were there to help me when my grandfather was in trouble, and now I'm here to help you rescue the world from evil. I promise that together, we'll figure out the secrets of your ancient past, and how to unlock your hidden powers before America can take them. Because your destiny is mine too, and you're gonna, we're gonna win. That's right. This was a tough duel, but thanks to our teamwork, and the heart of the cards, we came out on top. Now we're re headed for round two, and we're going to take it all away. Dark Neko Fear. Oh, that's kind of cool. More of, them, uh, more of that DP. While everyone waited for the next duel to begin, Yugi returned to his room to rest. He was suddenly surprised by a man in robes who also wore a turban. His name was Shadi, and he explained that he had come to provide Yugi guidance for the challenges that lay ahead. 
I am the guardian of the seven millennium items. I'm here because I sense the disturbance and the mystic alignment once again. <coughs> I don't think he has much of a choice. All seven items are on board this vessel. As well as the three Egyptian god cards, which means all of the objects capable of saving and destroying the world are right here. Really? The air of safety rests with you, Yugi. Heed my words. If the wrong individuals were to gain control of any of the Millennium Items, or one of the Egyptian God Cards, the results could be catastrophic. Um, yeah, catastrophic. What? Catastrophic. What the hell is wrong with me? Catastrophic. It nearly happened. Uh, once before. Pegasus created Duel Monsters. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah they did. They did. Anyway. It all began when Maximilian Pegasus first arrived in Egypt. He was searching for a method of reuniting with his lost love. His quest brought him to me, and I presented him with the Millennium Eye, for he was destined to possess it. Yeah, no, shoddy episodes were really good. There was that one episode he took him through the old puzzle. Yeah, they're, they're, they got reprinted, and they have actual effects now, Niwa. They're playable. Soon after, he discovered the origins of the ancient Egyptian shadow games. Pegasus became obsessed with these games and decided to dedicate his life to recreating them. During one of his early research trips to the ancient pyramids, <sighs> Pegasus planned to locate the stones depicting the Egyptian god god monsters he read about. So I guided Pegasus and his team of archaeologists to an underground chamber hidden beneath the desert sands. And after traveling by foot for hours, our journey was over. Pegasus entered the dimly lit chamber, as promised. I brought him to the ancient resting place of the Egyptian god tablets. Pegasus found what he came for, never knowing he was about to unleash a devastating force like no other. Triumphant, Pegasus returned to America to design his cards based upon the images he found on the stones. He was destined to awaken the Egyptian god monsters, but he was not destined to control their powerful magic. Although Maximilian Pegasus created the prototypes of the three Egyptian god cards, he immediately flew to Egypt to seal them in the tomb alongside the original carvings and spare the world, uh, spare the world their absolute power. And with the help of Ishizu, Pegasus sealed away the cards. Werewolves, uh, welcome to the stream. No, I, I really like the new uh, art for the obelisk, man. I like both, though. Then Merrick tried to steal them? Yes, and if he were to get his hands on all three, the results would be devastating. I can assure you, Merrick will never hold all three Egyptian god cards. My pharaoh, it is an honor for me to be in your presence once again. I know that you will restore order to the world and put an end to this chaos, just as you did 5,000 years ago. My complete faith lies in you. <coughs> Machine duplication is? Uh, what do you mean, Juyoku? Uh, Chi. Are you asking which part of the, uh, the game is where Machine Dupe is? <coughs> at, that, uh, at that moment, the speaker announced all finalists must return to the main concourse, and Shadi vanished. The second duel was between uh, Merrick and Joey. Since Odeon was pretending to be Merrick, Odeon stood before Joey ready to duel. Let's do this, Merrick! This guy. Yeah, it's time to duel and destroy you. Prepare for a defeat. Don't count on it, Merrick. I'm not scared of you. I mean, let's be honest. I mean, people had absolute love for their kings and their, uh, their uh, pharaohs. They were, like, completely dedicated. Some of them were just unbelievably dedicated. So, it's pretty insane. <laughs> I abuse a knight. That's freaking hilarious. Alright. Alrighty. I don't know if I'm gonna win this duel, honestly. <laughs> Thunder in Vegas. Why the hell do I have the lit? I swear, I always hate but flipping Joey. What in the world?
I don't even remember what that does. I think he puts the trap right back in his, uh, yeah. Don't worry, streamer. Just keep dueling. This guy. Don't tell me how to duel with my life. Who? Who? Oh, crap. I, I think I know what that is. And if it is, I'm really not in the mood for this. Freaking beast of s What? What? How did I- What? Oh. 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 He played that card without beast of circuit. That's almost hilarious. Sometimes. This is that type of game. Yeah. Anyways. I forgot all about that. I knew it was Beast of Circuit, but I was thinking to myself, there's something about the card that shouldn't be scary. Attack! I remember. This guy's like the complete trap man. As long as I don't see Mirror Force, I'll be okay. What the hell is- oh. Wow, I actually might have to tribute just to get that extra 50. Delete? What? Is he gonna- did he send another one? I would die laughing if he did. Yeah, he did. Oh my- <laughs> Just- just freaking die. I love. Oh. It's freaking game, man. Uh huh. Okay. To oh no! Oh boy. Oh, he still need to... He can send one miss. Oh, they rewrote it. Okay. That's why I think it's legal. This car was so good when it first came out. Brokenly good. Very chill right now, man. What the hell is that? That's new. Oh, it's a cat. Is it spellcaster trap now? I've never actually seen those. The Dishon. <laughs> freaking Dishon. I swear, every time I see that command, it's just freaking hilarious. Oh man, Dexter made that command a long time No, Glaceon made that command a long time ago. I remember I used to have streams where people were actually doing it all day. 
Odeon's deck contained a copy of an Egyptian god card. This angered the gods, so lightning struck Joey and Odeon, sending them to the mat. Master Merrick, I am not worthy enough to control this card, just as I was not worthy enough to be a part of your family. Odeon! I tried my best to serve you, my master. I tried. Odeon dedicated his life to protecting Merrick by containing the evil within Merrick, but with Odeon weakened, his control over the evil was losing its strength. Please forgive me, Joey. I'm sorry. It was an honor for me to duel you. Well, same to you, and thanks to that lightning bolt, I won't forget this duel for a while. Now that it's done, you gotta come clean. If you're not Merrick, then who are- Wow, they don't go into comas? What is with this story? I've fallen- <laughs> I'm only a servant of the real Master Merrick. Admit your true identity, Merrick! Yes, it's true. I am indeed the real Merrick, you fools. So Namu lied to us all along? Namu? He was a disguise to get me closer to Yugi. So Pharaoh, we finally meet face to face. Now at last, I can finish the job my pathetic servants couldn't. Yugi, your puzzle and power will soon be where they belong. Oh no, I was afraid of this. We're, in all, we're all in great danger. The great evil hidden within Master Merrick has a darker side, and I'm unable to contain it anymore. It's too late. I freaking, that's my favorite command right there. Ah! Merrick, what's going on? I'm finally free, which means I can do things my way. I was restrained for many years by that fool Odeon. Who are you? I am the true Merrick. I'm not as kind as the one you come to know. And soon I'll finish the job he couldn't complete and strip you of your powers. Ha 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 ha. Oh, I got a beast circuit. Yay. The next duel was Mai versus uh, real Merrick. Mai gave everything she had, but Merrick was much too powerful. With the power of his Millennium Rod, Merrick trapped Mai's mind in the Shadow Realm. Your friend made a costly mistake by dueling against me, and now I'm afraid she's paying the ultimate price. Notice her motionless- oh! Notice her motionless uh, appearance? That's because her mind is trapped! Uh, you gotta look. That, that's exactly how his hair was. Uh, with each passing second, she forgets more. The shadows are taking everything. Everything she kept inside her mind and inside her heart. Oh, baby. Trapped by dark magic, my friend could do nothing to help her. All right, you geeks. Clear the field for the next duel. The next duel was Seto Kaiba versus Ishizu Ishtar, the same Ishizu who Yugi and Teya met at the museum. She was the mysterious eighth finalist. This is quite a surprise. Yes. We meet again, said Okaiba. So you've come to win back Obelisk? What I've come for is of greater importance. I've come here to save my brother. Brother? Yes, for the fa- Oh, uh, for the fast. For the past 5,000 years, an Ishtar has stood guard over the Pharaoh's tomb. Only Merrick turned against us, and the evil within him is even stronger now. If you remember my Millennium Necus, Nec- Liz has the power to show me events that are yet to come. And right now, it tells me you will lose this duel, Kaiba. Enough with the Millennium Items. I don't believe in that nonsense. I planned this with one goal in mind. To reclaim my place as the number one duelist in the world. Have you forgotten that it was my idea for you to organize the Battle City Tournament? To lure duelists like Merrick? And my plan worked. For my brother is here. But the hardest task is for you to... Wait. As yet to me... Wait, what? God dang it! I'm about to like open up my stream so I can see the stuff that I don't see. The evil within him must be stopped. I'm surrounded by superstitious nitwits. Take your hocus pocus nonsense to someone else's tournament. My Millennium Necklace predicts that your lack of faith will be your downfall. <laughs> Freaking. Oh, man. Is it Banish? Oh, I don't remember the command. It probably got deleted. God damn it. That sucks. I'm a 
Bonus deck! Haipu! 50 dollars! Uh, 50 dollars. 50 viewer! Haipu! Kaibu. I have activated Dragnova's trap card. Alright. Now let's go for my first turn. First, I activate Thunder Dragon's effect. I discard Thunder Dragon to get two Thunder Dragons to my hand from my deck. Alright. Now, I'm going to activate Summoner's Art. Hmm. And I'm going to... Wait, do I really want to add that? I don't know. I guess. Yes, I'm going to add a Gadget Soldier to my hand. Then I'm going to use Soul Exchange to target his creature, her creature for targeting for a Tribute Summon. And then I'm going to summon Gadget Warrior. An attack position. Wait, what effect? Shrink. No! Oh, this deck is gone. What the hell? There's a card that sends five cards from the deck to the grave now? What? She's gonna last turn me. Wow. The many fails of shadow. Oh wow, all that life point gain. Why didn't I, uh. I held B and I couldn't use Ring of Destruction. Wow. That sucks. Hmm? Oh my god, that looks so epic! What? I should buy like a Merrick wig now. Start dueling. Yo, she's just full of these sectors, though. <sighs> and there's no Lord of D. That sucks. All right. So I messed up the duel when I uh, with the shrink in the uh, ring of destruction. Note to self: Don't hold B so much. You gonna let me go first? How kind of you. By the way, we're back at 61 viewer hype. It's good to see you guys. Really? Holy shit. Did not mean to draw that. Oh, well, I guess there's nothing I can do about it. Slap that ass. What? Thank you. 